In this video here, we will talk about the prayer of Muslims. You know, many they speak about Islamophobia and Islamo whatever, etc. Those stupid words they come with. Uh, but nobody want to wanna see the truth. That the fact that those who have a phobia is the Muslims. Somebody will ask me, okay, why you, you make all your videos about Islam? This is my degrees. This is my specialty. Like, you know, somebody is an eye doctor. He talk only about eyes because this is what his knowledge is about. For me, I earn degrees in this religion. I spend my life studying this religion, you know, uh, as any study. And it's my duty to share my knowledge, that's all. I feel the risk of this faith religion, so I share my knowledge. And we have a lot of uh, reasons to worry about this religion. This, this religion is a threat. It's a security threat. It's an economic threat. It's a, it's, it's a threat in every way. You know, people now, they can't go to the airplane because of this religion. We used to go to the airplane without anybody checking our pocket. Now we take our shoes, we take our, our clothes. So this religion make, made life always through centuries, through more than 1400 years, made life for a human being terrible and horrible. So we should be worried. Those people until now, they have nothing in their mind except waging wars and going and killing and beheading. Watch the news. See how many people last week, you see, if you watch my video 10 years from now, still I can say to you, watch the news last week and tell me how many Muslims get killed by Muslims. I'm not going to ask you how many Christians get killed, how many Christians in Nigeria or the or the Ivory Coast or in, 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 in Lebanon or in Syria or in Pakistan or Afghanistan. or oh, no, no, I'm not going to ask you that. Go and see how many Muslims get killed by Muslims. That is telling me what Islam is about. And they are killed not because those Muslims are bad, no, those because, because those Muslims are good. Because the good Muslim is the one who do what Muhammad did, which means the one who do what Muhammad kill, as Muhammad kill, he killed too. For Muhammad was a killer. When a Muslim he pray, the first thing he do in the morning, he pray. Many do not know that the first thing he do in his prayer, he's cursing us. He's asking his God, Oh God, don't make me like the Christians and the Jews, those who you curse them and those who they are lost. Why a Muslim cannot pray to his God without being infected with this phobia of the Christians and the Jews? Can't you say to your God, Okay, don't make me bad, God. Why God will make you bad anyway? I don't understand. I, I, I don't get it. Is, it. is it God who made you ba bad? Yes, in Islam, Muslims believe that Allah is the one who made people bad. Because Muslims, Islam is a stupid religion because Muslims believe anyway in something called destiny. Allah, He created your destiny before you exist. So even the prayer doesn't make sense. Because if you are made to be this way before you are born, so your prayer will not do anything because simply your destiny is already made up. And we spoke about destiny. You can search my videos or you can read my book, The Deception of Allah, Volume Number One. Uh, uh, I speak about destiny and I show that this religion is very weird, stupid religion. The God of Islam, even a child, a Muslim, he's born as a Muslim. He die as a Muslim when he is baby. Still, he is not guaranteed to go to heaven. Why? Because Muhammad he said that Allah, he decide for children, for everyone to be in heaven who is going to be in hell before he was even born. So it's not what you do. It's not a prayer you make. It's not a deed you make, it is a destiny you go to. Which means all the prayer of Muslims is some, simply something funny and, and uh, have no reason. Because if your destiny is already preset, what's the point of this prayer? Nothing. I will tell you what the point. The point of this prayer is to keep Muslims busy. Muhammad, you want them to think, to spend 15 minutes or 20 minutes to do ablution, another 15, 20 minutes to do a prayer, five times a day, so they will, they, they, he will disturb their day, they cannot even think they can't even read a book because the whole day is occupied with things. Stupid things because you don't want them to think. The first thing in the morning, you start to pray into Allah. I have nothing wrong with that, by the way. But not the first thing in the morning, you start cursing people. You go to a church and I invite all Muslims, you know, you can go to any church and you will see Christians praying for the peace of all the world. Not only the Christians, they pray for the peace of everybody. Christians, Jews, Muslims, Buddhas, Hindu, doesn't matter. And that is telling me the huge difference between Christianity and Islam.
Islam is based on cursing and hate. Now, some people they might say, I have wrong understanding of a chapter 1 verse number 7. You know, they might say, uh, you know, you are not really giving us, uh, because you see the translation here, it's not really giving the correct translation. So what I will do, I'm going to play a video by a Muslim scholar, and he is going to explain that verse to us. Let us see. The first issue we need to remember is in Surah Al-Fatiha, which is the opening surah of the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of a dua. And I've mentioned this dua where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُنْزِرِ The anger here. They are هُمُ الَّذِينَ عَرَفُوا الْحَقَّ وَتَرَكُوهُ They are those who knew the truth but left it. That is who is being referred to by those who have earned the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people of the book as well as all others who have known the truth. They knew what the truth was. They knew that this is what we are waiting for. We are waiting for this sign and that sign. When the messenger came to them with all those signs, they preferred to cover their book and turn it and twist it and hide it. And they preferred not to accept the message solely because of the fact that he was from amongst the Arabs. Now look at this excuse. So the excuse Muslims, they hate you and they curse you just because you refuse Muhammad because he is from the Arab according to this false statement. The fact, all of us, we know that this is absolutely false. Being an Arab or not being an Arab have nothing to do with this uh, uh, except Muhammad is a false prophet. Secondly, he said that uh, Muhammad, he brought all the signs and we cover our books. What about we show us our book? We cover our book, which means we have the book, which have the truth, and we cover it. Okay, can you show us the, the book we cover? Like how somebody can cover a book? You know, you don't own a book. The Bible is everybody have a Bible. Everybody can, you know, if I, if I change my Bible, you can show me the correct one. Can you show me the correct one? Muslims don't have even one single copy of what they claim to be the correct copy of the Bible. And many of the fool of Muslims, they say to you, oh, which version of the Bible you are reading? What version, you idiot? Those are translation. When we say... King James Version, this is not a new Bible, this is a translation. I do not need even to, to have a translation. If I, don't, if, I, if I speak the original language, I do not need a translation. The same as you, you know, we read Yusuf Ali, that is the version of Yusuf Ali. Uh, Muhammad Biktal, this is the version of Muhammad Biktal. This is not a new Quran, this is a translation. So they ignore to first them, they say, oh, every day there's a new version of the Bible. You, you eat it, this is a translation. We have the original manuscript exist. Everything else is a translation. This is how ignorant they are. Same time, they are saying to us that just because we refuse Muhammad, we deserve to be cursed. We deserve to be hated by Muslims. Well, how come Jesus says, pray for them, those who curse you? You see the difference? How come Jesus said, pray for those who curse you? Like, which means, you curse me, I say to you, bless you. Why your God he want to curse me just for refusing Muhammad. Okay, I refuse Muhammad, I accepted Jesus. The Jewish guy, he refused Muhammad, but still he accepts Moses. Isn't it the purpose of worshipping God? Isn't it the purpose to be following the, the law of God? If he is following the law of God, what's the problem? No, you have to follow Muhammad. Forget about the others. And this is what Islam is made for. Islam is made to destroy others, but Muhammad trying to make himself or link himself to those others. But the fact he is not from them and he has nothing to do with them. And the proof, his message is so different. His heaven is different. You know, if we have the same heaven as Muslims, then I will make like maybe some, something there close. You know, even the heaven of Islam is different. The Muslims, if we have the same God, we should have the same heaven. The Muslims, they go to heaven, their penis will be endless. Imagine, Abdul will be five foot, but his penis will go to the moon. And women, they will be doing nothing except their legs is open and having sex. And 70,000 boys. So then I need to ask myself, how come in the heaven of the Christians, Jesus said he and she, they will not get married, they will be seen as angels. So how come we don't have the same heaven and we don't have sex in our heaven? And that actually makes sense in Christianity because Christ is holy, Muhammad is filthy. Muhammad is the filthy, he is promising vagina, boys, wine, uh, money, gold, silver, because he's satanic. This is all the roots of evil, actually. You, you find it in the heaven of Allah. But the real pleasure is to be in a spiritual way happy. And that's what Christ is bringing to us. So the Muslims, they are people who follow their private part, not their spirit. All what this religion is based on, hate, 
hate to survive because Muhammad he cannot survive his religion without hate cursing to survive because he cannot really exist without cursing even when the Christians asked Muhammad to debate they came to him what he said let us curse let us invoke the one who is lying which is false too because uh, if somebody if somebody is a Hindu you don't believe in my religion doesn't mean he is lying this is what he believe in so even even the the challenge which Muhammad he made in the Quran is a stupid as we see in chapter 3 verse number 61 and here you see that Muhammad he cannot even debate but he can curse he cannot debate you know imagine if I want to debate Muhammad now if he exists what Muhammad will do will do he will say this to me as you see in the verse bring your sons I bring my sons bring let us gather together you bring your children I bring my children bring your women I bring my women and let us curse huh let us invoke Allah to curse the one is lying you tell me what kind of a person this person is so now to have a debate the Muslims today actually they are when, when they're having a debate in a stage they are not performing what Muhammad said because according to Islam you bring your women you bring my women you bring your children I bring my children and we start saying Allah may Allah kill the one is lying I mean may Allah kill the one may Allah cut the nose of the one is lying may Allah put a lot of boogers in his nose that is saying that Muhammad is a very trashy person even in his debate he cannot do anything except cursing because simply he have no answer it is the only way to survive to keep the truth away is just to curse people which means shout scream show anger and not to listen and he what this is what he wanted from his followers because simply if those people stop shouting screaming listening then they would understand so he don't want them to understand this is why he, he said to them in chapter 5 verse 101 ask not questions for things look evil for you in the Quran. as we see here chapter 5 verse 101 you go to Yusuf Ali and by the way I don't approve the translation but it's okay oh you believe ask not questions about things which is, uh, uh, is uh, if made plain to you actually it's made ugly the su'akum evil look uh, like evil for you so even a Muslim he cannot ask questions about things look evil for him in his Quran because simply Muhammad he have no answer now uh, you know you tell me if I cannot ask my prophet the questions I will ask who so Muslim cannot ask not he cannot ask to question he can ask he can ask to accept which means he can accept us uh, uh, silly stuff like how I can pray my brother you know oh my brother put your hand here and your hand there and your nose there but ask serious questions no ask not questions for things look ugly and evil for you just accept it so what Muhammad he want he want anger he want hate he want cursing he want ask not questions because simply you question this religion verse number 102 it says the answer because if you ask those questions many people before you they asked those questions and they lost their faith which means Muhammad he admitted that if you ask questions to Muhammad he cannot answer you therefore you will leave Islam and this is exactly what Islam is about Islam is a stand-alone religion by cursing not stand alone religion by faith which means by cursing others I will try to make myself look better but I can approve myself better because to prove myself better I have to answer questions I have to give education all what they do nothing but cursing including cursing other even they curse the Muslims Muslims they curse the Muslims even their prior to kill like the Muslim Shia they curse the Sunni the Sunni curse the Shia Muslim Shia they can't pray without cursing Omar and Ali uh, sorry Omar and Uthman and, and Aisha uh, uh, and Abu Bakr and Muslim Sunni they love to curse others ex and, and same as cursing the Shia and actually I will show you a video at the end of this video I hope this was a good video for you to learn about Islam and Muslims why Islam is spreading hate and why it is even their their prayer is a prayer of cursing follow with more more videos please and don't forget to get my book the deception of Allah thank you يعني هؤلاء أكفر خلق الله أنا مش عايز أقول الكلام يعني كلام بشع فعلا هؤلاء الناس يسبون الصحابة ليل النهار وبالله عليكم ندعي أن ربنا سبحانه وتعالى يعني يخلص الأمة من أمثال هؤلاء الأقزام المستدين اللي ما لهمش شغل إلا سب أصحاب النبي وسب زوجات النبي وسب النبي نفسه صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم صلت على الشيعة الزلازل المهلكة والبراكين المحرقة اللهم صلت الشيعة على اليهود وصلت اليهود على الشيعة